And that's why I tell you we will be holding this public education but we're going to break it down for the people. I have people in Exchange Hill tonight who work on the plantation for over 30 years. People who are paid in the sugar industry only 63 or 64 dollars a day. But who thanks to the Barbados Labour Party and Tom Adams yeah. own the piece of land yeah, on which they live because of the Tenantry's Freehold Purchase Act. And that land, which they would have bought at 10 cents a square foot, is now worth, in many instances, 60 and $75,000. Let's take the woman whose land is worth $75,000. Remember, she only working $60 a day, and some days she only getting three or four days at the plantation. She, under the Owen Arthur and the Labour Party, would have had land tax taken off of her back because you do not pay land tax for the first 190000 in value. We put it at 150, this government raised it to 190. Yeah, Frank. Next year, call a solid waste municipal tax. Are you with me? This lady, whose land is worth $75,000, must now look to pay $510 in circumstances where she is smelling hell to buy food and to pay light and to pay water in the country of her birth. But she is not the only one. In this crowd tonight, there are pensioners who have property and as part of the assault of the middle class, People who got houses and land that they paid for all the work in life got a little pension to live off of. And now they have to find money to pay this solid waste tax as well. A person whose land tax bill comes in at 540000 the land is worth 400 or not 540. The tax they would have paid on land tax because of us increasing the exemption at the top would be no more than $490. Thank you, Danny. But because of what Chris Sinclair has just done, by taxing them 0.7 percent over this man now has to look for two thousand eight hundred dollars when the year come two thousand eight hundred dollars so when i tell you that he's now penalizing barbarians for owning land you understand what i mean when i say that they are going at the heart of what it is to be a Barbadian. There's a lady in this crowd tonight. My phone rang at 2 o'clock this afternoon. She's a temporary worker in government for the last 11 years. She has three children. One at university with herself because she is trying to better herself too. So she and her daughter are attending university together, but doing different courses. She has a son at community college, doing graphic arts, a bachelor. And she has another son at Queen's College now going into upper six. She lives still with her mother, trying to get a house for the last few years still and haven't been successful. If these fees come into play, she, like the postman who met me on Friday, who he and his son are you eat together too, she will have to decide 
Do I finish my degree and try to get a promotion so when I retire I have a higher pension? I hope that my daughter will eventually get the money and my son and my other son? Or do I step down and sacrifice for them? Retire at the lower pension and let them go ahead and pray that they would be good children unlike Chris Sinclair because he has known what it is now to be an ungrateful child of the Democratic Labour Party. <laughs> Are you with me? Are the estimates of expenditure and revenue of the government of Barbados? Yes, it is a thick book. Yes, it ain't got in almost 500 pages. Yes, it can stop you from sleeping at night to go through every page. Yes, you need glasses to go through line by line to look at the print. Yes, you need a calculator. But above all else, yes, you need a vision. You need a vision. And you need a vision because in this document, you have to make choices. When you go to the supermarket, are you going to buy a bundle of nuts? Or are you going to buy food that you can cook for the children? Are you going to buy corn curls? Or are you going to buy rice? And that is what this has come down to. That this government continues under the Democratic Labour Party of recent vintage to believe that it can pick all the low-hanging fruit rather than putting in some elbow grease and trying to make and fashion a program that suits the needs of not hurting Bajans and allowing a platform for growth at the same time. And, and, and I am saying to you tonight, I am not getting in any foolish argument with Chris Sinclair or the Dems about whether the Labour Party or Beckles or whoever. Beckles came out and defended himself in the front page today. And that what we have always said we are going to give you that education if there are other bells and whistles like cricket field and football field and coaches. You want to raise the money for that yourself. Raise the money. I am fooling you. I am fooling you. Raise the money for that yourself.